For some um, areas of a stair, it makes sense to um, have the segment as one. So I'm just going to take this segment right here, and we're just going to delete it. And we're going to go into here and edit this segment. And I'm just going to extend this. I'm going to hold the shift key and extend it until it snaps on that wall. And then click. And so that's a great way to make a railing more continuous. Um, Sometimes you don't want to have too many uh, joining pieces. Um, I'd say this is probably not one. Um, another way to do it would be to have some sort of post in here and then the railing stops at each end of the post. Um, and I would do that manually as a post, um, as a structural member, not as a railing. I just think it's a lot easier to control. Um, the other thing I just wanted to go over quickly too is you can create um, A railing. I'm just going to see if it has it filled in here. No, it doesn't. Um, you can create a railing without these pickets. And so we're just going to go into Edit Type, and we're going to go into Baluster Placement, and we're just going to delete the balusters. Um, none. Change all these to none. Sometimes they have a what I should have done was I should have duplicated type, so I'm just gonna go in here and duplicate type handrail. Um, I'm just gonna, actually, I'm just going to call this handrail wall. And then we'll just go in here and we'll turn off these. There are um, little brackets you can find online. I'm not going to do that right now, but for, for the purpose right now, you can just have a handrail on that side. That's another way to clean up the drawing a little bit.